as part of our exercise eight, we just want to make our metadata service to use PV and PVC. PV is nothing but a simple host path PV. Let's get started. So I have my metadata service. Most of the components are exactly same. Your metadata deployment, metadata service, which is a node port service, MongoDB as deployment. One change in this MongoDB deployment is my volume. Now, instead of giving directly host path, I'm providing persistent volume claim, claim name, which is Mongo PVC. Service is cluster IP, same. I'm going to define my PVC. In my PVC, my name is Mongo PVC, which is mapping to the claim name here, Mongo PVC. And PV, same storage class, 500. And this PV is implemented using host path. Host path, I have given this home vagrant MongoDB PV data. So what I've done is, so I'm running a three node cluster. I've created this directory, home vagrant MongoDB PV slash data on all three nodes. Okay. So I'll start deploying one by one. I'll start with deploying my PV first. First, I'll start with creating PV. PV is available. I'll deploy my PVC. So this PVC is now connected to this PV. If you look at this claim by Mongo PVC, Mongo PVC in default namespace. So after this, I'll go ahead and deploy my MongoDB database. Pod is created and it's running. It's running on KTS node 3. Go and create Mongo SVC. So Mongo service is created. Metadata service is created. And metadata pods. So if I try to get my metadata service node port available on 32323. I'm hitting a metadata endpoint here. No entries there. Let's post some entries. Okay. All my pods are running. Now let's go and hit the endpoint to see if it's working fine. Refresh. No entries. Working fine, right? I'm hitting the node port. Now let's post some data. Done. Reload and see one entry here. Reload. See the entry, both the entries there. Working fine. So now we implemented this same metadata service using PV and PVC rather than direct host path. The concept here is if my administrator creates this PV and makes it available for all consumers to use. We don't have to worry about how our persistent storage is implemented physically. It could be host path, it could be something else. And my pod definition is now not having the actual host path related details. I just care about this is the claim I want to be fulfilled and there will be some persistent volume available that's going to fulfill my claim.